good morning dear students this is part 4 of chapter 5 fractions in our earlier class we have seen how to compare fractions now we shall go to another topic like and unlike fractions now what are like fractions Fractions having same denominator are called like fractions. In our example, we have 2 by 9, 5 by 9 and 6 by 9. We can see that the denominator is same in all the three cases. Therefore, all the three fractions are like fractions. Unlike fractions, Fractions with different denominators are called unlike fractions. If the denominators are different, then it, uh, the collection of fractions are called unlike fractions. Now the next topic is comparison of fractions. How to compare like fractions and unlike fractions. As we know that like fractions have the same denominator. If two or more fractions have same de uh, denominator, then the fraction with greater numerator is greater. You can see in the example, 5 by 9 and 4 by 9 are like fractions. 9 is denominator. It is same in both the fractions so they are like fractions but the numerator 5 is greater than 4 therefore 5 by 9 is greater than 4 by 9 comparing unlike fractions so there may be some cases case number one if two or more fractions have the same numerator then the fraction with smaller denominator is greater if we have two fractions 2 by 3 and 2 by 7 to the numerator is same in both the fractions but in 2 by 3 the denominator 3 is less than the denominator of the second fraction 2 by 7 Therefore, 2 by 3 is greater than 2 by 7. Greater the denominator, smaller the value. Case number 2, to compare two or more fractions with different numerators and denominators, we convert them into like fractions. For converting to like fractions, Find the LCM of denominators of the given fractions. Step number one. Step number two. Convert each fraction into its equivalent fraction with the LCM as common denominator. Step number three. Then compare the numerators. Let us check it with one example. We have to compare 4 by 5 and 3 by 4. Now we have to find the LCM of denominators 5 and 4 in the first step. So I have done some rough work. 5 I have divided by 5 I get 1. So 5 is equal to 5 into 1. If I divide 4 by 2 I get 2. Again 2 is divisible by 2 I get 1. Therefore, 4 is equal to 2 into 2 into 1. So, LCM is 2 into 2 into 5, which is equal to 20. Now, in the fraction 4 by 5, we have to make the denominator 20. For that, I have to multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. So, I get 16 by 20. Same way, I have to make the denominator 4 of 3 by 4. So, for that, I have to multiply numerator and denominator by 5. 
so I get 15 by 20 so we are getting 16 by 20 and 15 by 20 comparing 16 by 20 and 15 by 20 we get 16 the numerator 16 is greater than 15 therefore 16 by 20 is greater than 15 by 20 16 by 20 is 4 by 5 so 4 by 5 is greater than 3 by 4 15 by 20 is 3 by 4 question compare the following fractions 5 by 9 and 7 by 12 I shall follow the steps we have to find the LCM of the denominators 9 and 12. Rough work as I have done earlier like that we have to do. For 9 I get 3 into 3 into 1. For 12 if I divide it by 2 I get 6. Again 6 I have to divide by 2. I get 3. 3 is divide, uh, divided by 3 I get 1. Therefore, LCM will be the longest chain of 2 and longest chain of 3. That is 3 into 3 into 2 into 2 which is equal to 36. Therefore, we have to make the denominators 36 of both the fractions. 5 by 9 equal to if I multiply both the numerator and denominator by 4 I get the denominator 36 so it will be 20 by 36 same way for 7 by 12 if I multiply numerator and denominator by 3 I get 21 by 36 so we can see that 20 is less than 21 therefore 20 by 36 is less than 21 by 36 20 by 36 from which uh, fraction we got 5 by 9 therefore 5 by 9 is less than 7 by 12 or you can use the cross multiplication method so uh, the a numerator of the first fraction into denominator uh, denominator of the second fraction then denominator of the first fraction into numerator of the second fraction so 5 into 12 and 9 into 7 60 and 63 60 is less than 63 therefore 5 by 9 is less than 7 by 12 now I shall show you some uh, problems how to solve it from exercise 5.4 question number one you can solve it by cross multiplication method or by finding LCM that is up to you I shall accept any method question number two a boy read a 2 by 3 of a book on the first day and one fifth on the second day on which day he read major part of the book so you have to find which part is greater 2 by 3 or 1 by 5 we have to find the LCM or you can do it by cross multiplication method I have chosen the easier method we shall use cross multiplication method to find which fraction is greater so 2 by 3 and 1 by 5 I have to multiply the numerator 2 into the denominator of the second fraction 5 and the denominator of the first fraction into numerator of the second fraction. So I get 10 and 3 2 into 5 comma 3 into 1 2 into 5 is 10 3 into 1 is 3. So 2 by 3 is greater than 1 by 5. Therefore, the boy had read more on the first day. Because on the first day he read 2 by 3 parts. Now question number 3. On a particular day, A walked 1 and 3 by 5 kilometer. 
B walked 2 and 1 by 7 kilometer and C walked 2 and 2 by 3 kilometer. Write the distances covered by them in descending order. It means we have to arrange the mixed fractions given to us in descending order. So I shall convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction first. Then we shall arrange the fractions by finding LCM because here we have three fractions so we cannot use a cross multiplication method we have to find the greatest and smallest fraction by uh, finding the lcm then comparing the numerators so a walked one and three by five kilometer which is equal to 1 into 5 plus 3 by 5 equal to 8 by 5 kilometer. B walked 2 and 1 by 7 kilometer which is equal to 2 into 7 plus 1 by 7 kilometer which is equal to 15 by 7 kilometer. C walked 2 and 2 by 3 kilometer which is equal to 3 into 2 plus 2 by 3 kilometer equal to 8 by 3 kilometer. Now we have to arrange 8 by 5, 15 by 7 and 8 by 3 in descending order. So for that I have to find the LCM of 5, 7 and 3. I have shown it in the right side of the page as rough work. The LCM is 105. So we have to make the denominators of the fractions 105. So if I multiply the denominator of the first fraction by 21 it will be 105 so 5 uh, 8 into 21 divided by 5 into 21 which is equal to 168 by 105 the same way we have to find the equivalent fraction of 15 by 7 7 we have to make 105 so 7 into 15 is equal to 105 so 15 into 15 by 7 into 15 equal to 225 divided by 105 same way 8 by 3 is equal to 8 into 35 divided by 3 into 35 which is equal to 280 by 105. If we arrange the fractions in descending order, 280 divided by 105, then 225 by 105, then 168 by 105. 280 by 105 is 8 by 3. Then 2 to 5 by 105 is 15 by 7. 168 by 105 is 8 by 5. So these are uh, converted to mixed fraction. 2 and 2 by 3 is greater than 2 and 1 by 7 is greater than 1 by 3 by 5. So question number 5 and question number 6. Uh, you have to solve the same way. Homework exercise 5.4 question number 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 and 8 you have to do. You can use any method cross multiplication or by LCM and then comparing numerator. Try to solve question number 4, question number 5 and question number 6. This is all for the day. Have a great day.